In this episode, we explore an abandoned preschool and daycare. In October 2008, the school was forced to close permanently when their certificate to operate was revoked for failing to file the annual report for the year. Now let's start our exploration and see what is left behind at this abandoned preschool. What's up guys? We're here at our next explorer today. This time it's an abandoned preschool or daycare. daycare. I think it's a mixture of both. Definitely had some teaching and education going on here. So it's one of those, but we're starting off on the top floor. There's three floors here. Um, this seems to be like the main office rooms, but there's tons of stuff left here. So we're gonna start here and then we'll get down to all the toys and all the other cool stuff down there. Go see. Now, it's really filled um, in here, surprisingly. Yeah. Uh, it's all boarded up outside. You wouldn't really think that there would be stuff left behind in here from the way that it looks outside. The graffiti. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Um, if you come in and you take a look at this wall right here, you can see how badly wow. decayed certain parts are getting. So. It isn't in the greatest shape, but it's still holding up pretty good. Well, I don't know where to start. There's tons and tons of things. I mean, we just step on things like all over. Now, just so you guys know, I have poison ivy on my fingers, um, right on my fingertips. So that's what all this is, calamine lotion. So no, I'm not diseased, but it burns. So I had to put something on it. Um, blocking off the school up here, but got a first place math award. Got this cool old Epson computer. Now, I don't really know a lot about these. I guess this was just for typing and printing. It collapses in and it kind of opens up like this. Yeah, it looks Thing. really old. Yeah, really, really old. So if anybody knows anything about these Epson computers and how they functioned, um, let us know. I'm curious how it worked. I'm not really sure what time frame this is from either because I don't remember it as a kid. But uh, over here, tons and tons of paperwork, files, all sorts of stuff. And we got a calendar here that's stuck on September 2007. So that's a good clue for us already. We'll do our research like always, see if we could figure anything out, why this place closed and when it did. But that gives us a good little idea so far because we don't know yet. We always do our research after. And I know some of you guys don't love that, but we try to make this explore fresh. Like we don't know what to expect and that's what's exploring to us. Yeah, whatever um, we're seeing first, you guys are also seeing first. We like to learn as we go. So. Yeah, so research will come after. We'll figure it out for you guys. But that's why we're not sure. Um, I'll try to climb over here and see if I can find anything worth looking at over here. But I'm just seeing like old cassettes, like educational cassettes, scholastic stuff over here. Ooh, see oh, how man. bad this is? You got the same type of stuff in the corner. Super machine. Something about the nervous system. Introduction. These are from the 70s. They say 1970. Wow. So it must have been science um, cassettes. And tons and tons of old stuff here. Using media in your classroom. And they're showing like, like the old school Xerox projectors and the records. This says um, 1979. Wow. So for whatever reason, there's a lot of older material in here. I guess they um, like to keep the older stuff going and still use it. Like this is a medicine log on the floor from 1997. So you got all sorts of time frames in here, it seems like. Now, I'll try to back out of here. Everything else seems pretty similar on the floor. Just loads of old educational paperwork and stuff. Hopefully I don't break my leg in here. Now over here, you got 
tons and tons and tons of pictures, which we'll take a look at now. I mean, I don't even know where to start to begin. Those look so old. 1970 to 71. So these are really old, cute little graduation pictures. I guess when they graduated preschool or whatever, they would uh, get in a little cap and gown, which is kind of neat. I don't think I did that in my uh, preschool days. Here's the backyard. In the back, you can see the old school Car. cars in there, but that's the road that's actually right in the back. They had a big grass area, and I guess these kids were playing in the sprinklers. Well, we also got some views of inside. Like here's one of the rooms downstairs. These look like, Polaroid like the rooms. Type pictures. That's cool. Yeah, these are probably 70s too. I don't even know. But that's them doing some crafts and things like that downstairs. That's cool. Little Santa costumes or whatever. We got it pretty uh, interactive and made sure the kids had cool, unique things to do. This looks like downstairs as well. They're all in their little outfits. But there's pictures everywhere. I mean, it, uh, you look everywhere on the floor, there's just tons and tons and tons of pictures. But I kind of wonder why like, it didn't end up in the hands of the parents and why they are in here. Yeah. Instead of, you know, usually the parents get the pictures and stuff like that. But I guess not. Um, like I said, it continues on over here on the floor. It, there's just tons of pictures and more things of pictures like that looks like downstairs. I mean, it goes on forever. They really, whoa, they really documented everything, which is cool to see. I like being able to see, um, you know, how places once looked like while we're inside because that gives us a better view of everything. Got some pictures of kids. I mean, pictures that kids made. An old car in the snow. And again, is this a year? 1998. Wow. So, a little confusing. Not really sure. More Why? pictures? Tons and tons of school pictures. And this cute little box. Got an EpiPen. Right? Oh, it's insulin pen. Never mind. Mm, for diabetic. Yep, insulin pen. Doesn't have an expiration date on it. But I guess that's how you dose. I'm not really sure how um, diabetic stuff works. But yeah, so over here, again, file cabinets. Tons of stuff. And pictures and bug nets. We'll catch bugs outside. Pretty cool. Before we go, look at this old phone over here. Like a dial phone? Yeah. Like one of those, like... That's cool. Gonna have to blur out the phone number, but that's cool. Nice. Pretty cool. So we'll carefully go to the next room. Hopefully we don't break our ankle on one of these areas. Again, another maybe Halloween thing. Interesting. We got a messed up bathroom over here. Still got a hairbrush hanging in the thing. Somebody stole the sink. We got scrappers. Not really sure. Now this room also seems to be like a um, office type room uh, where they stored all sorts of stuff. Here's the uh, cap. Caps. Graduation caps. That those kids were I think wearing. There's names in them. Yeah. Wow. Rachel C. And grossly enough, there's still hair in it. And got even a little bit of toys that I guess were never used. 
cool. 2001. We've got a pinata. Without his legs or anything, but. Maybe this was used as um, storage. Yeah, like in here. Come in here and take a look. I believe in here is like a bunch of like, like costumes the kids would wear, it seems like. Or like a bunch of pink ones that are all the same. Red and black dress. Fire fire jacket. Or yeah, something. something like that. There's like a Christmas tree dress. So that's probably when they did play pretend and all those pictures that you were seeing with them in outfits. They must have provided them here and uh, did like special themed days, which is pretty cool. Look at the little pants. Oh my god. <laughs> They're so tiny. Little overall looking pants made with like craft supplies. Yeah, there's, I mean, tons of stuff. Can't really say, I mean, this has the name all over it, but this is uh, for payments for the, the um, Employees? adults to pay for them to come uh. to the school. It's like receipt books. Pretty cool. I can see more papers down here and stuff, but we already saw a bunch, so. Let's head downstairs. As you can see, there's a lot of vulgar graffiti in here. When it gets really dark. This was the lightest area because it was up on the top floor with the windows. And we'll start here. A door in front of a door with this thing piled up. And I guess they piled up a TV and I don't really know what they were trying to block, but it almost seems like that they were trying to like block the door from opening. Yeah. But at least there's one of these left behind. I think this is the only one in here, but it's here. Got some work sheets down on the floor. Now let's start in this room. A lot of graffiti in here. I guess people are just going crazy in here. Now these are all emergency numbers and staff numbers. I'm going to have to blur these out, but this is, I guess, you know, police, fire, and poison, important contacts if anything were to go wrong. I'll have to blur this too, but 1998. Well, big mixture of stuff. I really want to know when this place closed. Got uh, just some regular office chairs, teachers' chairs. We do have one little school desk, classic short school desk that I would have to like really inch down to be able to use these things. But I remember like in elementary school when we had these and I would hide all my like little fidget things in here and try to play with them like while well, the teacher yeah. wasn't looking. All my little squishy toys and things like that and whatever. This but, is um, like the most 
cringe graffiti ever. Blood Gang. Oh my god. Let's get it. That's from like Little Pump. Gang in this. Then you got Sniper Gang. Kodak. <laughs> Rest in peace, young Pappy. Oh These boy. are literally like groupies. Free Brandon. It's a bunch of groupies. Oh my, Lanta. But look at that balloon on the ceiling. That's weird. I, I think it's glued on there. I can see little ah. pieces of tape. So I was Big just about bird. to say, there's no way there's helium in that thing. Making it float. This is probably all one group of local kids. Yep, that come and ruin this place. That want to seem cool. Now they blocked this off. They nailed this in. So this probably was like a house, obviously. We, if we didn't, we probably already showed the uh, outside in the intro. Um, it's, it looks like a house and it's kind of like in a neighborhood and they converted it to this. So I guess the fireplace would have been a dangerous thing. So it seems like they just like blocked it off and called it a day. I wonder how long it's been blocked off for. Yeah. You got a bunch of chalk on the floor, a little bit of toys. But yeah, let's get going on to now the other side. Mm -hmm. Obviously this is not gonna work, but that's a cute little- That's cool. Yeah. Oh, Mickey Mouse Mickey themed Mouse. one. It is so hot in this place, man. Oh, there's a little closet here. I think I see some Mickey Mouse stuff in there. And Cookie Mouse yeah. on the top. The power is not going to work in here. This would have probably been another classroom or something. I do not know. Oh, there's like a sink. Well, what was a sink here? So maybe a kitchen. Yeah, maybe. Where they like made lunch for the kids yeah. and stuff. We have some more pictures here. They're feeding goats. Maybe that was a class a, trip. A hayride. There's a classroom right there. Probably the room we just came from. Or mm, another, I don't know. Probably, probably downstairs. downstairs. Yeah. yeah. We had a full house. Look at that old camcorder this guy's using. Yeah. Backyard. Again, I had a little pony. That's cute. And the backyard again. Yep, that's the house next door too. Yeah. So let's see what's on this side now. There is a bunch of decay in this place. This is definitely, well, this was definitely done by scrappers. Probably looking for wiring and stuff throughout the walls. And if there were any wires, they yanked them all out. But here's another cool light switch. Donald Duck. Donald Duck. And I'm guessing this was actually the kitchen. The cabinets are almost empty. So is that baby food it's explaining on that thing? Yep. Baby food jar. Yeah, how many ounces? Soup. That's cool. Some more pictures over here. Halloween, I'm guessing. Looks like it. This is cool. They had a lot of fun when they were young with ducks. Ducks? And a goat. So let's try to get through here. I think I see another calendar on this wall. Let's see the year, if there is any. In the top right corner. 2007, as we saw in another calendar. So this place probably closed around 2007. It would make sense, there's a lot of stuff that you know indicates that. Up here, just some more supplies that you'll find in the kitchen. An old fridge. This feels sketchy. <laughs> there's a toilet right here. I'm guessing this was a little bathroom. That's cool. One of the kids probably did that. That's cute. Now, let's open this fridge now. If there is anything in this one, this one's going to be the worst. <laughs> Ready? Mm, yeah, wow. Oh. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, oh that stinks, okay. Let's move back. <laughs> we got mm. enough uh, mm. 
That's, information that, about years. We're not going to look at those. This phone looks old. But yeah, let's get off. Let's get off this kitchen. It stinks so bad. There's a lot in there, and there was like these little like things that said names for kids. So I guess they uh, put different snacks. Yeah. Like organized. This is another reason why we got to be careful when exploring these places. We didn't even notice all of these when we were filming. We just noticed them now while taking pictures. It's a bunch of needles on the floor everywhere. So yeah, we gotta be careful. Okay, what's through these doors? I don't know, maybe more classroom space? I do not know. I can't tell with, with the way it's looking, but it had some cool wallpaper. Maybe Looney this? Tunes. Yeah, Looney Tunes. That's cool. Um, what is this bird's name? Tweety. Tweety Bird. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty empty in this one. But that goes downstairs. We're not gonna go there yet. Here's a window, and that's the road she was talking about with the cars that you saw in the backgrounds of a lot of the photos we showed you guys. Yeah, this is their little play area. I guess we could cut through here. Watch your back. You go first. Tight. There we go. Whew. Wow, there's some sand here. That's pretty weird and messy. Yeah. Definitely a playroom like you just said. Some more cool fabric on the board. Some small, really small tables. On the sides of them it says ABC. That's cool. Oh yeah, oh you know what? It came off the wall. That's the same thing right oh, there. Oh, it is. So they like came down. Oh, you're right. Let's see. That's a smart way to keep space. Wow. Wow. I've never seen that before. That's cool. That is cool. This side too. Huh. Yeah, me either. That's pretty unique. Back there, they probably would have had books or probably even toys on those shelves. We got an old toy right here behind you. I used to have one of these. Pretty sure every kid, even nowadays, had one, one of these things. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything in these cabinets? Nope. There's their little hooks where they would probably hang their jackets and bags. And these are the kids' bathrooms. And they have a full door. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, you're right. If they needed help going to the yeah. potty, they can, <laughs> they can be seen. Mm. Whew. And this is probably another room that's just like this one. Now this cabinet actually has some stuff in it. A bunch of books. Oh clothes. yeah, look at that book up there. Yeah, that looks old. Let's see if we can get it down. I'm pitting my hands through, ow, cobwebs. It's a science book. It looks really old, the graphics. Wow. Let's see. There's no year. Usually. Oh. 19. 
61. 61. Wow. That's cool. That's really old. Some like lunch bags. This is Barbie, I think. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, mm. Sky Dancers, I don't know. Look, like it has a kid's name in it. There's another one right here on the floor. Some sort of bag, probably another lunch bag. We need a pool. Oh, there's glass all over. Some clothes. More small bathrooms for the kids. There's a bunch of socks right there. Yeah. One shoe. That doesn't look like a small kid's shoe size. And it probably. <laughs> Yeah, That's that a looks teacher's like shoe. Yeah. <laughs> That's the size of my shoe. But it looks small for me. <laughs> look, how, look how this one is like falling apart. Oh, wow. A lot of decay. This is crazy. Oh, there's a big bee behind there or yeah, I can something. Hear buzzing. Oh, yeah, it's a bee. <laughs> and there's a bunch of more books in these cabinets. But the coolest thing in this room. It's this little buggy. Bye bye buggy. They're, they'll probably like walk. I said walk. Yeah, walk the kids around the neighborhood. While, you know, with them inside. That's cool. I think that's the first time we, not really. We've seen this in the Magic School Bus Daycare. They're a little bigger. In Rockland, yeah. back in the day when it was still around. Now there's some, look like some art down here. I don't know though, let's see. School That's bus. the name of the school. I'm gonna have to bleep that out. <laughs> it's just... yeah. I guess they made like homemade coloring pages for the kids. Okay, there's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of like, blocks of wood in here. Probably like building blocks. Yeah. <sighs> Files in this one. And more books, paint. This place is messy. Over here, you can see the ceiling is coming down. Well, part of it did come down already. What's that lunchbox? Let's see. Looks like Star Wars or something? I don't know. It's got a cheetah on it. It does. All right, do not know. Nova like insulin injector. Huh. Never seen that before. Something in my shoe. Can't get it out. Okay, that's fine. Oh, but that's all it for this area. I guess we should start going down? Yeah. Seems like downstairs was some of the main classrooms. Yeah. And you could imagine there's much more decay down there. I think it was this way. Whew, it's hot in here. Okay, we're trapped. Okay, I guess we have to go one by one. Time to go to the creepy basement. Whew. Yeah, this is, this is cool looking. 
Wow. Got some small drums. Cool, cool, cool. What's the battery percentage on the light now? All right. Wow. Full flop. All right, so. This is slippery. We got a lot more stuff here. Gotta I don't know careful. what I'm stepping yeah, it's like on. it's slippery. <laughs> it's kind of gross. Probably paint. This is like, I guess a calendar. No date again, but this is all the days of the week and stuff. Little chair. Now it has a weird smell in here and I think it's the expired paints. Yeah. The chemicals from the expired paints. Now this chalkboard is pretty, uh, oh, 2007. Oh, I was gonna say it's pretty empty, but 2007. Oh, definitely 07 has something to do with it. Yep. And we got a ton of stuff down here um, to look at, which is kind of cool. Some old CDs, the Great Marches. So I can't find a date on that, but I used to love in school when we would go, oh, 1992. Wow. When we would have like the computer oh lab days. That I don't would mean be to cut best. you off, but Barney. Oh. Barney. Barney is special. Yes. Does it work? No. <laughs> wow. Barney was the best. Yes, it was. And they definitely have webs connected to me. I see them flying in the air. But uh, let's see what else we got. We got tons of cool old nostalgic things to look at. There's just like, I see like a little Clifford thing in here. Some candles and yeah. other stuff. We're gonna have to cut it real quick, change the battery. Yeah, it's dying. Yeah, so okay. we'll see you guys. In two seconds. In two seconds. Okay, we're back. Got a new battery ready to go. So this cute little board said helping hands. And it says 06, September of 06. And these are the kids that were in class. Got a bunch of scholastic books. Old stuff that I remember. Would remember. That book. I, was, I was gonna say, Little I mouse. definitely remember it. Um, 1996. Wow. Yeah, I'm surprised they held on to so many older things. Now, oddly enough, I have no idea how this tire got here. <laughs> That does not go with this place, so that's a little yeah, strange. Somebody's dumping stuff. And here was probably a little, like, science set. Or these are the things that you put sand in. Yeah. And make, like, the little, like, sand things, which is cute. This is old as hell. And all the paper, I mean, the pencil, pencil sharpening. Yeah, sharp. Winter stuff is everywhere. But, uh,. That is a pair of scissors, wow. man. Probably for that the grass big. or something, gardening. It's like the size of my foot. Yeah, we're stuck on summer fun. And it's just black mold and trippy stuff and whatever. So over here, we still got tons of stuff to look at. Just look how low these like, behind. hooks are. They're so low. <laughs> a cute little vanity thing on top of a speaker. I'll start over here at this piano. I know this doll and I can't... Is it the girl from Clifford? No, I don't think she had a ponytail. Oh, what was it? It's like deep in my brain. And oh I my god, get it don't touch anything over there. Is that blood? That is blood. Yep, that's blood. Now we've noticed around this area while coming in, we obviously didn't come through here, we went through a door, but the blood is coming from over here. Oh my God, it looks recent too. It doesn't look that old, but it's coming from here. So maybe somebody got cut by these the pieces of glass. Wow, that's bad. I see somebody's like hand wipe on the thing in the middle. That's crazy, that's bad. Holy cow. I don't get, like it can't be the paint right there. It's not the paint, it's blood, we saw it on the window. It doesn't make sense, yeah. 
They got cut with the glass. Like you said, that's really, like that looks, that looks recent. fresh right there. It's still, it's still wet. wet. That's not good. Now I wonder if it was like trying to get out or coming in. Hmm. Well. Oh man. I guess I will not touch anything on yeah. this side because of example A. And that's why we got to be careful in these places. Because people could have diseases in there. Yeah. And that's fresh. I'm not worried about like the decayed stuff and the old stuff. That would be something to worry about. Yeah. And people say, oh, you're going to get something by touching these things. No. But that, yes, that's possible. Um, we got a creepy old little doll here. The blood drips all around With, it. Yeah. And this old piano, which I was going to open up the thing, but I don't think I want to anymore. Because, I don't know, too much. Damn. Ugh. A lot of like the lighting things ripped off the ceiling and fell down here. But in here you got a bunch of paint, crayons, and markers in here. And some music sheets, I guess with playing the piano and stuff. That's cool. Probably did sing-alongs with the kids and things, which is cute. Cute little shopping cart. Bunch of fake money. Play money. Got a lot of toys left wow. in this area. Look at this little old Elmo. And we got tons of VHSs. I can see Never Ending Story. Thomas and Friends. Sesame Street, Mickey Mouse. Casper meets Wendy. Bambi, The Grinch. A bunch of stuff. Got some Tonka truck. Got um, Eeyore. Cute little old register. My Little Ponies. Whatever this is. Like a... Bye. Bye-bye. Oh my god. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Put it closer to your mic. <laughs> Train. Bye-bye. That's cool. It's still a lot. It's gonna work, I guess. Now these... I don't know who agrees with me, but... I loved these things when I was little. Lincoln Logs. These I've are the best. I've never played with those I things. loved Lincoln Logs. Classic. And you got a bunch of other toys over here. Let's take a look at them. Up here we've got tons of rocks. Which I don't really... Maybe it was to paint the rocks. Like uh, water color paint pa uh, yeah, paint palettes then here we got tons of newspapers I don't know what I have to uh, blur out here but the whole 2006 thing. so those are probably from the 2000s era spider-man coloring books I had a bunch of those when I was younger yeah Wiggles. That's a little recent wiggles. Now you got these things. You can put the shapes in the shapes. Like, look at this one. This one's from 1986. Wow. Ice cream treats. Wow, that's old. That's cool. I like that one. Tons of cute little things. Hippo and all sorts of dinosaurs, sharks, cute little toys, and dusty. Is that an astronaut? Yeah, these are astronauts. That's cool. 
Cute little characters. Donald. Why are they like that? Mickey? 3D printed or something? <laughs> I don't weird. know. Would they paint them? I don't know. There's not really the markings I can't read. Disney official. Yeah, I'm not really sure. They would Maybe probably use them to paint them. Yeah. A lot more of these little vintagey looking toys. Whales. These are cool looking. Look how decay. Like, I like yeah. how they're like super like decayed looking. If that's a word. I'm not really sure. A little baby bag with a cake container with some money. Hey kids. <laughs> funny. I remember that, that, that character from somewhere. Is there any tag on it? I know that character. Spud the Scarecrow. It's from a cartoon. It uh, has Bob the Builder, Hasbro, and Play oh, School it's on from it. Bob, it's probably from Bob 2001? the Builder. 2001? Yes. Yeah, I don't know why I don't remember that one. I do. And, uh, I don't know. You put your hand in here, I guess, to get the shapes out, and you put the shapes inside. There's a lot of toys left behind in here. And he got a bunch of, like, the sand bags to make those sand things, so that's probably what those containers were for before. Got a bunch of outfits in here. Little, now these are kid size. Kid size shoes. Definitely. Hats. Cute little purses and, and bags to play pretend with. It's adorable. And let's look at this pile. That was a light bulb light that bulb. I just stepped on and smashed. We got tons of those like big Lego blocks. And an old fire truck. And what these look like to me, these look like like the painting smocks. Yeah. You know, when you go paint? Yeah, definitely. Well, you got a whole bunch of paint on it. You got Sesame Street people on it. That's cute. I used to love finger painting. That was fun back then. A little library. Yeah. Rescue heroes. Jimmy Neutron. Wow. Hercules. Cat in the hat. My fingers are itching so much. Guys, don't ever get poison ivy on your fingers. It's annoying because when you touch stuff, it itches. Cat in the hat. All that good classic scholastic books. Sweet, that treat. The time book. Tons of stuff. Some more My Little Ponies. Some Disney books. And yeah, definitely be careful because behind you, this thing is like yeah. your height. Yeah. Now, we got an old twister and a Crayola VHS and more of those building blocks. You didn't like I've Twister? I've never played that thing. I avoided it. I liked it. It's just weird to me. It was fun. Now, okay. enough Ooh. of that room. We can move on to the, I think the last and final room, right? Yeah. Probably. So. This one's, flop. Seems like this one has a little more classroom desk. Left a message on there for. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is that another wheel? 
it is weird. another tire yeah oh it's hot man i'm sweating yeah we have some school desks over here with mold all over them some chairs a bunch of random stuff on the floor the big wheel over here this is probably the teacher's desk I don't know if that had anything to do with the classroom. Probably not. We have a small library here. Let's read some of the books here. Reaching higher. I'm guessing this was a math book. Huh. Yeah. Goosebumps, baby. Look. Oh, you goosebumps. love goosebumps. <laughs> This is the only books I've ever read when I was younger. Wow. The best. There's a bunch of them. <laughs> yeah, there is. We got Candyland. That's one game I did like. I loved Candyland. Whew. Shoots and Ladders down there was a good one, too. Oh, yeah. Like that one. Something Mystery? Morphin and Mystery? Never heard of that one. Got checkers. What is this? Sand? Looks like it. Not, yeah. Okay. Oh, look at this. It's a Popeye's record. Wow. This looks old. I love Popeye. Where's a year? Let's look for a year. Oh, 1963. There's wow. a little spider crawling on it. Wow, look, they had a Bozo the Clown one. Yogi Bear. That's wow. cool. That's cool. So they had a record player somewhere in this place. Whew, another chalkboard. There's a bunch of more games and books on this side. Let's see, let's see. I've never played this game. Me either. Yahtzee. <laughs> Corny. Corn picker finds a home. Random books. But none that catches my eye. This place is cool. Can't believe there's this much decay and vandalism, yet there's still a bunch of things that were left here when the place closed. I don't know what they threw against this wall, the board here, but it looks like. Gross. Yeah. Started making it peel. It's weird. We got a basketball. Probably had a hoop outside at one point. I don't think I remember seeing anything like that outside though. Some huge, like work gloves. Probably has to do with these tires. Yeah. Somebody definitely came there legal dumping these things. I don't know how the other one got over there, but probably like a random kid rolling it over there or something. But that's something else you find. A lot inside abandoned places is illegal dumping. Bunch of trash that was brought here by random people. Probably the scrappers. Like, hey, I got a spot you could dump these at. But here, we got some science books. Some more science books. The Green Kingdom. Look and learn. Places to know. Cool, cool, cool. I remember these things. I love those things. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> and these, and these. Hold up. I'm trying to grab them. These blocks? Yeah. Or whatever they are. That's funny. I remember those things. From like third grade. And here, this is a little restroom with toilets right next to each other. Oh, what the hell? Yeah. And I'll try to show you all these cobwebs. You probably can't see it. Oh, well, now you can. Look at all that. Not worth walking in there. So yeah, I think that's it for this place. We're gonna catch you guys on the outside. Now again, this is where we came in through. A wide open door. We do not break and enter any place we visit. So yeah, we'll catch you guys on the outside.
All right, guys, so we just got finished taking some pictures. We decided to bring some of the toys upstairs because this room was looking a little yeah. empty. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, check out our other videos because they're as good as this one. Mm -hmm. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at Urbix Vibes. Our personal Instagrams, Oxidize93, Real Zach, our TikToks, Oxidize93, Real Zach, and follow us on Facebook at Urbix Vibes. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.